Mitsubishi brought its third flight test MRJ-90 to the Paris Air Show for the new airliner's first public appearance. The specific aircraft is intended to test the avionics and autopilot performance. The fly-by-wire MRJ is powered by Pratt & Whitney geared turbofan engines, and the flight test program's five airplanes are busy logging hours towards certification in 2019. So we're really passionate about the MRJ-90 and its, and its place in the market. It's a next generation regional jet product and uh, it brings real benefit to the operators in terms of operating cost as well as great environmental benefits. Community noise is reduced, emissions are reduced, and we have a really spacious cabin. Everyone gets a window or an aisle with no middle seat. We are really excited about bringing it to the marketplace. We think it's going to transform the regional jet market. So the flight test program, we're really pleased with the performance we've got so far. We're through 940 hours now, well on our way to 1,000 hours, we think in the next week or so, and we're finding uh, really great results. We've achieved a number of major tests so far, such as the flutter campaign is complete, which opens up the envelope for the rest of the flight test, that the load survey is complete, freezing the airframe design. We've also taken the aircraft into natural icing conditions which is a very major milestone in any aircraft program to evaluate the system performance. The performance of the MRJ-90 is, uh, is, is quite spectacular. We've, we've uh, done the initial envelope expansion and we've flown it out to the maximum speeds and altitudes and Mach numbers and the aircraft is performing very well. The flight deck features the Rockwell Collins ProLine Fusion avionics suite tailored for the MRJ platform. Four 15-inch displays in landscape format display synthetic vision, moving maps, and systems information. Like most modern airliners, and now including regional airliners, fly-by-wire flight control systems are becoming standard. Fly-by-wire offers improved safety with envelope protection features and adds to passenger comfort by smoothing out the effects of light turbulence. I think pilots are really going to enjoy it, and uh, customers will find it very comfortable. It's what they call a simplified fly-by-wire system. So it's essentially augmented. It flies very much like a conventional aircraft, but you have uh, enhanced stability and control information from uh, the computer system. So it, it uh, has auto trim, it has geared gains based on airspeed and altitude, and has a lot of protection in the system for overbank and overspeed protection as well. I think the pilots will really enjoy flying the aircraft. It's a very honest aircraft, it feels very much like a conventionally controlled aircraft, which is what, what you want in an aircraft. You want the flexibility of a digital fly-by-wire, but you want it to feel like an honest uh, stick and rudder aircraft. So our next steps in flight test are really to build on the momentum we've made over the last six months, take an aircraft to do runway performance where we begin to validate some of the operating numbers for our customers, as well as taking a look at the engine performance in, in more aggressive scenarios such as uh, high power shutdowns um, during some of that runway performance testing. We can see the light and we've got our eyes firmly on that and everyone's really passionate and enthusiastic and just the achievements we've made over the last six months is really encouraging everybody to push to the end. Entry into service with launch customer All Nippon Airways is planned in 2020.